that's how I was going to ask what what's the things you need to clean up on you, you said you need to you give yourself a harder grade what are the things you need to clean up on from week one to week two I think there was just a lot of plays left out there um specifically by my decision making um some of the so we could have a lot of more explosive plays um obviously that one interception just trying to force the ball late over the middle and another one and just uh if, just trust my feet and, and hit the check down if if it's not there uh things of that nature um, but on, honestly, I felt like we pushed the ball down the field well. We just need to we just need to finish it when we're in the red zone. What are the challenges with uh, Washington State's defense? This is a team that's always given this program a lot of a lot of trouble. Uh, they're a really talented defense. You know, they're they're fast. They they fly to the ball a lot. Um, you know, they run a, a mix of different coverages. They play uh, quite a few zone man. They mix it up. So I think they're they're going to come out ready to play uh, back in their their home stadium. So we got to be prepared. And, and that's what we're doing this entire week to, to get ourselves ready for Saturday. Knowing what a game is like now without fans, you think there's an advantage for the away team now uh, without crowd noise and you don't have to worry about, you know, snap counts and, and getting calls in and, and out? I wouldn't say there's an advantage. I just say there wouldn't be a disadvantage. Um, it's everyone's kind of on the same playing field. Obviously, you still got a away team still have to go to the that place, look at get on a plane and be in a hotel and, and deal with uh, the whole road game aspect. And obviously the crowd noise is, is going to be the same with the ambient noise in the background regardless. So uh, I think we're just really excited and, and thankful we can play uh, play the game regardless and regardless of whoever it is or who, whoever's in the stands.